Hello everyone, it's the Ace Gym Late Podcast with just Jim going solo again. And since he's by himself, he can do basically whatever he wants. And what he wants is to make a tier list. Because nothing says you've run out of ideas like making a tier list. Well, that or making another top 10, but I don't have any ideas for a top 10. So, this time it's a tier list of ranking the Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonists. So, yeah, this is just personal opinion, blah blah blah. Let's get right into the list. Starting from Astro from Zexo. I like Astro, I mean, if he should have been the main character of Zexo, and thus Zexo would have been a lot more tolerable. But, you know, I like him. He's not my favorite character in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, but <laughs> he's a diamond in the rough, we'll go with. Jay Nuki, uh, he's an A-tier solid character as well. You know, not my favorite protagonist of all time, I mean, but, you know, a very solid one overall. He's got his ups and he's got his down, but then again, you can say that for every character. You like, you know, there's some parts of him that you love, and there's some parts you can't stand. And most people kind of agree that he only kind of gets tolerable around season four, which is like 13 episodes. So yeah, Yusaku Fujiwara. Uh, I don't rate Wood well. <laughs> uh, you know, we'll just do his counterpart here as well. I don't like Yusaku. He's about as interesting as Wood. But I've kind of made that stated well. Like, okay, maybe maybe D's a little harsh. I guess C. Yeah, we'll go C. He's not the worst character, especially compared to on the list. But, so, you know. <laughs> Just, he's about as interesting as watching paint dry. And, uh, he, he does have some character progression, to be fair. So, I don't know. He's not a character I like, but that's just me. Yami Yugi, you gotta put him in S. I mean, he's the main guy who started all. He's the guy they put in all the freaking merch, you know? You gotta put him in S. It's kind of a long. You know, we'll put small Yugi in A, because. I kind of wish he had more screen time, but Dark Side Dimensions showed that he should, had more character. You gotta put Yami in yes, but you gotta put. you. I think that you gotta put little Yugi in there, because. He's not a bad character, so let's be real here. I kind of just wish he had more screen time, you know? That's all I gotta say. Um, I didn't see enough sevens to have a solid opinion on uh, Yugo, so I'll just put him in B, as in I don't hate him, I don't love him, he exists, you know? It, he's just there. It's, if someone's gonna take the, the B category, I think Yugo is a good fit. Uh, for you guys, should be saying, sorry. Uh, then we have Yuma. If there was an F tier, I'd put him in there, but no. He got a, so we'll just do D tier, that's fine. Just a bad character. I will say this though, he's the one, like one of the only few protagonists that has an actual character progression throughout the series. Like he goes from using to U losing to UFO Turtle who rush recklessly to beating freaking gods. Like, out of all the characters in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, he is the one that has progressed the most throughout his series, and you see that progression is slowly getting better as the series goes on. So, you know what? I will give him that. I just wish it was done with a less annoying character. Uh, then you got the godfather himself, Yusei Fudo, who gets an S rank because he's perfect. <laughs> it's funny how Yusaku is, like, my least favorite, and Yusei is my favorite, and... They're like the same character when you get right down to it, but I guess, I don't know. I like you say supporting cast better, I guess, whereas all you suck you had with Soul Burner and Kusanagi, and that's kind of it. Whereas you say had like a fuck ton of friends to bounce off of. And, uh, I don't know. I guess it was going off of just you say by himself, he probably ranked there with Yusaku, to be fair. Because uh, I'm not watching Yu Gi Oh! 5Ds to watch you say Fudo. I'm just watching it to see all the antics of the friends, but, you know. Uh, do you really watch an anime for the main character solely, though? Not a lot of animes where that happens, at least. There's some, of course, but, you know, not a majority of them. And then there's Yuma... Yu... No, sorry, Yuya, who I'm just gonna put in meh. I don't love him, I don't hate him, he exists. And I used to be like, no, F tier, put him below Yuma. Well, or at least with Yuma, but I'm like... This is my list, dude. If you want to give your opinions, make your own goddamn list. I say you is just there. I have, don't love him. I don't hate him. He exists. He is the least interesting of the you boys, but he's just kind of there for me. 
you know, I don't like action dueling that great, but I don't hate Yuma, Yuya for it. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, there's your Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonist tier list, and there is about seven minutes of your life you're never getting back. You're welcome. <laughs> I love Yu-Gi-Oh! And to be fair, uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! isn't on this list, but he would also, if he was, he'd be in, I don't know, B tier just because I have no opinion on Yu-Gi-Oh! So all I know about, you know, he'd be in B tier just solely because of how he answers the phone, I guess. I have seen none of freaking Go Rush. Aside from clips, I guess, technically, with our can't force a decision and stuff like that. Man, the Rush, the Rush team love making their protagonist lose when it matters the most. Uh, uh, I guess it's better than them being invincible all the time, though. I guess. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. Udius would just be in B if he was here. But yeah, that's all of your protagonists. So, uh, yeah. Later!